All right, here we go. <laughs> What's up, fools? <laughs> T here. What's up, game boys and girls? Getting ready to watch this direct. Um, <clears throat> the funniest thing about this is uh, watching all the uh, people, you know, all the YouTubers who are giving crap to uh, Nintendo fans who wanted to see a direct. Um, and then the minute that it was officially announced, those guys were the first jumping around with their predictions. <laughs> it's just funny to see that. So let's see here. Let's get going here. All right. Uh, all right. And we're off. Here we go. Nintendo Direct, baby! Oops. I just stopped the audio. Pokemon of some kind. <clears throat> this is just DLC for the game that's still not finished. <laughs> uh, it's running like a slideshow. Uh too bad, too bad. Cause it looks like to be it looks to be a good Pokemon game if it not for a Pokemon, I'm talking Scarlet Violet. Uh if not for those issues. It's too bad. <clears throat> the teal mask. When the game is uh, running well, maybe I'll give it a shot. Uh, my juices loose homies are freaking live chatting, live tweeting. <laughs> The event I had to take my watch off because it won't stop going off. My Apple Watch, I can hear it on the floor, just buzzing and uh, it must be clocky because clocky's home watching. The teal mask. Welcome to my Grand Blueberry Academy. What? The Indigo Disc. Let's my shelf. I'm. It's Pokemon. It's more Pokemon. Scarlet Violet. Mm-hmm. Yuki Zuki. Yep. A lot of excitable music for <laughs> not much happening. Teal mask and a good disc. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Hello, Shinya Takahashi. And, of course, Yoshiaki Koizumi. That was the latest trailer for the hidden treasure of Area Zero, the paid DLC for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The first half of the trailer took place at a festival in the countryside. 
while the second half seems mm. to be in a completely different location, a futuristic academy in the middle of the ocean. More details on this DLC will be available in the future. In the future. And after today's Nintendo Direct, a special event will be held in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Special event later today. Okay, let's see our first batch of headlines. It's a supersonic squad of superstars. Supersonic squad of superstars. <clears throat> Mm. Sonic Superstars. Take to the skies as tails. Scale walls as knuckles. Amy with the hammer brings the hammer down. Put the hammer down. Like Thor. Storm of clones. I wonder how that's going to go. Local four-player co-op in a Sonic game. Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman. Cozy games. In-game characters and players from all over the world. Build houses, hmm. decorate your home. Plot, Interesting. Crops in your garden and more. Play with other residents in online co-op or carve out your blissful life solo. And if you're eager to explore, there's plenty of life beyond the village. Set off on a vast journey to uncover Paleo's many mysteries. Or just kick back and relax at mm. home. How you live is kick back and relax at home. What kind of Cozy games. Paleo is free to play. Paleo, free to play. This holiday. Ignite your heart. Ignite your heart. The Phantom Thieves return. Persona 5 Tactica. Some people calling it Persona 5 Tacticia. At first, I think when a leak happened, the accidental leak. I like tactics games. So I'm all in. I gotta get into Persona at some point, I guess. Um, It's probably the best time to finally get in. <sighs> I promise you I'm not bored. I've just been all night. I've been working. I work overnight. And uh, I took like a little nap <laughs> before this. Which probably wasn't the best idea. But I needed something. And so I'm going to finish this and then finish my sleep. Available November 17th. Saturday morning cartoons back. Oh. First person roguelike. I love how it looks. It reminds me of like Pirates of Dark Water. Yeah, that's what it was. Pirates of Dark Water. I used to love that cartoon. But I also hated it because I knew once it came on, that meant that the Saturday morning cartoons were almost done. So it was kind of sad. Although I loved the cartoon, it was kind of sad to see it. Because that meant Saturday morning cartoons were almost over. <laughs> it was a sad thing when you're a kid. Well, when you're a kid of that era. Myth Force. I like it. I like the style, visual style. 
Oh yeah, there's a Splatoon game out that came out recently that I did not buy. I wonder what the engagement is on this game. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it or anything. Um, I'm, I'm splatted out. <laughs> I want a, a compelling single player with a cool storyline. <clears throat> and that hasn't happened. Now, this y'all may not just be me being tired. It may just be <laughs> me seeing Splatoon stuff. Splatoon 3. More Pokemon. What's this? Oh, wait a minute. Something's off about this Pokemon. Wait, is this, uh, oh yeah, Detective Pikachu. Is this a new game? Or is it just a, a 3DS version again? <laughs> they should have got uh, Ryan Reynolds to do the voice. For Pikachu. I like the visuals in this game more than I like the Pokemon games. Oh, it's returned, so it's a different one. It's a sequel. Cool. Hey! Super Mario RPG. The rumors were correct. What's it going to look like? What does it look like? Oh! I like it! Beauteous! Uh, total remake beautiful all right is square involved at all I really like the art style this is a great evolution of that art style oh yeah looks great it looks great fantastic I dig it. I was wondering how they're gonna translate that art style. <clears throat> um, I think I like this more than Link's Awakening remaster or re remake. Like the visual style, I mean. This is very cool. Very nice. Seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. I really like it. It is a beautiful translation of that game into the modern era. All the way down to no neck Mario. He like he's he has even less of a neck somehow. All right, eleven seventeen. November 17th, nice. Super Mario RPG returns with brand new graphics. Whether 
you played the original game or not, why not take the opportunity to jump into the very first RPG in the Mario series? Oh, I will definitely re-jump back into it. Huh? What? Huh? Peach? Super Princess Peach? What is this? That's not Super Princess Peach. What? Princess Peach is getting her own game again. Oh, you bastards! <laughs> Luigi's Mansion? What? Dark Moon! What? Two, two remakes <laughs> a remaster I don't know how you would say Luigi's Mansion wait what's this is this the 3DS game remade again a remastered remade wait what the trilogy Switch is getting a trilogy. Wow. Looks pretty good. If this is for, if these are Switch visuals, that's pretty good. All the DLC, one complete package. All right. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, this is on other systems already, but or is, is the whole trilogy? I don't remember. Dark, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and uh, Arkham Knight. Okay. It's funny the uh, caption said this ball <laughs> instead of this fall. It said it's this ball. Twin Sails Interactive. Is this new? I feel like this is just a port. I don't know. Twin Sails. Hmm. Gloomhaven. I guess it's new. Well, at least new to Switch. I don't know. Just Dance 2024. Is this game still popular? Come dance with us! <laughs> Latin K-pop, hip hop, and more. Bad Bunny, Whitney Houston, Blackpink. I 
All right, we know what Just Dance is. We don't need a super duper trailer. One month free trial. What we got here? Kingdom of Stolen Words. Fine, the secluded king. <clears throat> Action RPG. Chibi. Action RPG. Chibi. Yeah, that's bad. That's terrible. After you return to base, materials you've collected will help you cultivate resources and forge new items. Repeated forays into the so? will enable you to grow stronger and dive deeper. Can you hear me? Your guide on this journey is the kingdom's sorrowful princess, encased in a crystal of her own tears. And through a mysterious power. I wonder who's developing Super Mario RPG. Silent warriors. Why did the king steal the world's words? And what awaits the warriors in the depths of the abyss? Silent Hope dives onto Nintendo Switch. Silent Hope. Sparks will fly in these Nintendo Switch games. Sparks fly. Oh, we gotta and cultivate your best life in Fake Farm. Make use of magic Phoenix Labs. and off mischievous foes. Enrich your farm to help your character flourish. There's so many farming games. So many farm sims. Anybody trying to capitalize off of the motorcycle passing by? <laughs> or anybody trying to capitalize off of Animal Crossing? Um. This would be right, about the right time people would start coming out with their games after the success of that game. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. Yeah, I, I think I want to get this for another console or PC. PC. Because the visual is a little bit more crispy over there. A little bit more crispy for this type of game because you want the cars to look like toys. They just look a little bit more toyetic. With more powerful hardware. Manic mechanics. So it's like, um, uh, what's that game? That cooking game? Oh, there's two of them. But for mechanics. <laughs> There we go, Mario's Rabbits DLC. Sparks of Hope. I need to finish that game. I haven't finished it. Um, I wish they didn't mess with the uh, the battle system. The grid system I actually really liked. Because it felt more like a tactics game. In every corner of this world, monsters roam the land. And now a dark prince will rise. What is this art style? On a quest for revenge. Is this quest 64? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. A monster wrangler? Combine a myriad of monsters. Well, well, well. It's Dragon Quest of some kind.
What is this? Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. Okay. Okay. The Dragon Quest spinoff. December 1st, 2023. Alright, what are we looking at here? Freaking crap in my face. We got about what ten minutes left? Twelve minutes? A little more. Plant-like creatures. Oh, duh, Pikmin. Pikmin Fizzy. <coughs> Pikmin Fizzle. These Pikmin games are so gorgeous. Look at those visuals. It's so, so, so crispy. Mm. And the adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Ochi. Should you choose to accept it, repair the damaged rescue. Pretty close to Yoshi. And save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore together. Once plucked. It's four of these games, and they barely sell a million. Which I don't, you know, I don't care that they barely sell a million. But a lot of people are like. Oh, the games don't sell well. They won't be making them when I'm talking about like, you know, Star Fox and uh, and um, F Zero and stuff like that. When I talk about, oh, why can't we get new ones of those? Oh, the games don't sell well. Well, Pikmin games, <laughs> you know, don't sell all that great. They, you know, they barely sell a million, and there's no argument. For why they keep making them, which I don't mind. Oh, look at that Game Boy Advance SP looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, but then that argument goes away, and they'll just find something else to explain why there's so many Pikmin's. I thought there's a ton. There's four. There's four Pikmin's since 2001. You know, in 20 years, so it's like once every five years. But at least, at least they keep making them. Which I love, but I would also like to see you make Star Foxes. Yeah, you know, Star Foxes and F Zeros and stuff. This game looks so good. And so I got the voucher uh, for 50 bucks, so I got Tears of the Kingdom. For fifty dollars, and I got Pikmin Four for fifty bucks uh, for my voucher because you get two games at for fifty bucks, new games. So this will be a digital game for me, but I'm eventually will get I'll buy somebody's used copy because I'm a physical gamer. I like the physical games. Physical forever. I'm talking over all this new stuff for Pikmin. Oh, night expeditions. <clears throat> Is that new information? Oh, no. Creatures turn into zombie creatures. What? Glow Pikmin. They're like ghosts. Many more surprises await on this hmm. planet. God, the game looks so good. Switch has got some good power, man. When the right people are really working at it to make it look good, make things look good on it. Next month. We hope you can lead the Pikmin on your expedition. 
We have even more Pikmin news to share. More Pikmin news? Oh wow! We'll launch on Nintendo eShop later today. Pikmin one and two <clears throat> digitally today. Oh, I can wait on those. I have those games. Oh, it's happening. Another rumor come true. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Oh, wait, it's not a rumor. That was... Wasn't that announced for other consoles? Yeah. Yeah. You can also enjoy the games that started the series, Metal Gear and Metal Gear. Yeah, Metal Gear. Snake, as well as the NES versions of Solid Metal Snake. Gear and Snake's Revenge. This compilation nice. also contains the first Metal Gear Solid digital graphic novel and its sequel. Additional content includes screenplay books and master books with story and character info. This is cool. I'm not like a big Metal Gear fan, you guys already know. If you've been on my channel for a while. But I always end up buying them. <laughs> Trying to get into them. I've never beat a Metal Gear in my entire life. My son beat Metal Gear Solid 3 on 3DS. And I've never beat those games. My son has beat more Metal Gear games than me. He's 13. <laughs> And he beat it when he was like eight. Do you have what it takes to survive Vampire survivors to the switch. Stay on the move to avoid enemies and attack automatically with your weapons. Seems easy at first, right? But swarms of increased. Yeah, this game is an addiction. It's a good game for the switch. It's about time. Well, I think it's just like one developer, one guy. So, I don't want to say about time. It's right on time. Wow. Four player couch co op. Gonna play with my kids. What? Play online in this rhythm battle role oh. and aim to be the last. What happened to the graphics? <laughs> Headbangers Rhythm Royale. Yes, Commander. Fire a slingshot to play music in. First piano shooter. Race and fly to the rhythm. To the sky and more. With over 20 mini games, you're in for an impeccably good time. A pigeon based mini game collection. <laughs> when Headbangers Rhythm Royale bobs its way onto Nintendo Switch, October. Headbangers Rhythm Royale. Ready, set, yo! What's this? Ready, set, yo. Penny's big breakaway. And a newly animated friend. In this 3D platforming adventure from the team behind Sonic Mania, you'll explore the bright and colorful world of the Macaroon. And help Sonic Mania made a 3D platformer. I'm digging the uh, traversal. For some reason, it's giving me like uh, uh, Billy Hatcher vibes. Doesn't really look like it or anything, but 
For some reason, I'm getting Billy Hatcher vibes from it. Early 2024. Boost, of course. I need to. I need to. I haven't played that enough either. Mario Kart 8. Booster courses. Introducing squeaky clean sprint. More characters are also being added. There's a lot of pretty awesome car uh courses now. <clears throat> PD Piranha. Wiggler. Wiggler. And from Mario Kart Tour, Kamek. Kamek. This summer. What's this? Star Ocean. A remake. <coughs> wow. I likes it. Why the second game? That's weird. Was it fate or mere coincidence? Soon after, the two get entangled in a sinister plot within the galaxy. In this science fantasy RPG, select either Claude or Reyna as your hero. Science fantasy RPG. Their perspective. You'll also meet over a dozen potential allies from all walks of life. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who can be recruited to your cause. Battles take place in real time, and skills can be performed with a single button. Real time battles? <clears throat> New combat features in this remake include stunning enemies with chain attacks. And having allies not in your current party unleash follow up attacks, letting you map out strategic battles in your favor. As you search for a way home, an ancient prophecy will unfold, and your destiny will be awakened. Save the planet in Star Ocean, the second story R, launching on Nintendo Switch, November 2nd. Star Ocean, the second story R. It's time to move, <clears throat> Wario style. Wario, is he back? A new WarioWare game, wow. I haven't bought the last one yet. What the? What you do and how you move depends on the micro game. quickly with the right movement. That's weird. Oh! Nice. I'm gonna have to use the Joy Cons. <clears throat> oh no! Get your body moving in over 200 lightning fast micro games. In WarioWare, gotta love WarioWare. I like to move it. Warrior wear move it to be <laughs> Quiz. I didn't want to interrupt. Anyway, this is the latest That's the Nintendo charm I like. <laughs> uh, that wiggling. Just a few more things to share. Oh, the Nintendo Live events. Enjoy live performances. Take photos with some of your favorite characters and more. Do 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 do. Eligible attendees can also compete in on-site tournaments and participate in a last chance qualifier. Celebration is free and will take place September 1st through 4th in Seattle, Washington. Registration for Nintendo Live. Ah, it's a long way from me. 
Head over to the official website and enter the random drawing for a chance to receive tickets. Seattle. Holders interested in attending can visit the official PAX West website for more details. Those not Oh, is is it going on during PAX West? Oh, that's cool. Challenge comes this summer. The top 10 players from each will get tickets. Please visit the official website for more details. See you there. A vast number of players are enjoying their time in Hyrule in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Here we go. Got some DLC for tears. Thank you all very much. An amiibo figure of Link from the game was released to coincide with the game's launch. Uh, New amiibo of Zelda more amiibo. Ganondorf are planned to be released this holiday. We hope you're looking forward to them. I'll definitely grab those. Okay. I am. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh, no DLC. Okay. Last announcement. Please take a look. Wait. A 2D Mario game? What is this? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. What is this? This Huh? Super Mario Brothers 4? New new Super Mario. <laughs> uh... Wow. I like it. Holy crap! <laughs> That's cool. What? This is insane. You found a wonder seed. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Hey! This is awesome. Um, wish the visuals were a little bit stronger as far as the art style, but I still dig it. I digs it. This is like new inventive 2D Mario stuff, so I'm all in. This is very cool. Course clear. A little safe, but this year, nice. Some good stuff this year, Nintendo. Wait, what? <laughs> Mario turned into an elephant man? <laughs> what the hell? Weird wonky stuff. There were also flowers talking. This is very cool. And Mario became an elephant at the end. A lot of things happen. We'll share more details in the future, so we hope you'll That's pretty cool. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yes, we finally got a 2D Mario. Alright. Good stuff. Very good stuff. All right, so I guess uh, still no, uh, still no, um, what's it called? Uh, Metroid Prime Four. Um, you know, some good stuff though. Pretty good direct there. Pretty good direct Nintendo. Good stuff. All right, uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and now uh, see you folks next time. Peace out, Game Boys and Girls.